Hello viewers, welcome to Artistry. My name is Mary Masharia, and I'm going to show you how to patent draft a shot. On the chalkboard we have the measurement of this shot, the one that we are going to use. At the top, we have this sheet measurement, which is 100 centimeters. The waist measurement, which is 82 centimeters. We have the body lies measurement, which is 25 centimeters. We have the inside leg, which is 22 centimeters. And we have the bottom width, which is 30 centimeters. And of course, we'll have the uh, waist bud depth, which is four centimeters. With the measurement I have given you, we are going now to pattern draft using the brown paper. We have the tools that we are going to use to come up with the patterns for the shot. We have the L square so that it can give us an angle of 90. We have the hip curve, the one that will curve the hip width. We have this another cuff that we are going to use to curve the fork line width. We have the L square, uh, uh, we have the lula meter lul that we are going to use to draw the straight lines. We have the mark pen, green and blue, and we also have the paper cutting scissors. We will use the tracing wheel to trace out the patterns. And we may start. I will take my mark pen and now at the middle of my paper, brown paper, I will draw a straight line. And I square it out across. The point here at the center will name it zero because that's where we are going to start. From zero, we need the body lines. Go back to our measurement and we pick the body lines and we measure the body lines from zero up to one. And that will be 25 centimeters you square close. Both sides of the central line. From there you pick your tape measure again. And you measure the inside leg from one up to two which will give, which is 22 centimeters. Meaning our shot will be from zero, the length of the shot will be from zero to two. Square out. both sides 
from the central line. We go to number three, which is the quarter of 25. The body lies, which is 6.5. You come and measure, use centimeter. You mark that point, and then again, you square across. Again, both sides of the central line. That line is our number three. Our number four will be from number one, you go to this line, which is the crotch line. Because here, this line is the west, we have the seat, we have the crotch line, and we have the hem line. Along the crotch line from one, you measure up to number four, you measure the seat, one over 12 of the seat, and the seat is 100, which is 8.2. Three, and then you add 1.5 to give you 8.9.8. Uh, you come and mark 9.8, and then you square up to line. You square up up to the waistline, which is where the zero is from. When you square the line where they touch from line, seat line, you name it five, and at the waist, you name it six. We have seven to go, and the seven, we go to the other side of our number three, so we'll get five up to seven, so that we have our seat measurement, you divide by four, and you add two centimeters. Our seat measurement is 100 divided by four, that is 25 plus two, it will be 27 centimeters. So you come and measure 27 centimeters. And you mark that point number seven. Because this is where our sheet will be. From there we have number eight to go, and our number eight will be four to eight, where four is along the crutch line. So our four will be one over 16 of seat measurement, you plus 0 0.5, which will be 6.25 plus 0 0.5, which will be 6.75, you come and mark 6.75. And then you name it number eight. You leave it like that. We go to number seven along the waistline. From where six is, go in one centimeter from six and name it number nine. And you still have number 10 to go and that will be the waist measurement you divide by four plus 2.5. The 2.5 centimeters is catering for <coughs> the seam allowances and the allowance for ease because you cannot stitch a garment when it is too tight. So you come and measure a quarter waist, which is 82, divide by four, and then plus 2.5, which will be 23 centimeters. You come and measure along the waist line and mark 23. Sorry, you mark, sorry, you mark 10, because we have nine. You mark 10. 
<coughs> from 10, we have number 11. Number 11, will be along with the bottom width because we have the measurement for the bottom width. And the measurement for the bottom width is uh, 30, you divide by 2 because there are 2 on both sides. And that will be 11. Uh, 30 divided by 2 will be 11. You come and measure, 11, uh, uh, you measure 15 on either side. And that you name it 11. And on the other side, 15. You name this one number 12. So from there, you come and join the, the points that we have done. And that part is only for the front. So you join 10 with your curve, uh, with your curve. join 10 to 7. You make sure the line is smooth. And then you come and join number 7 to number 11. Use the cuff which will give you a good cuff. Then you join number 8 to number 12 with a curve which is slightly. And from there you join number 9 all the way to 5 and then to 8. You can use this curve so that you'll be able to to curve well along the fork line of the front and then the hip curve to come and join. Look at the side which is better, which can give you a good curve. And join. There. We are to add the measurement for the hem. The length of the measurement for seam allowances are inclusive in the pattern. So we are to add the hem allowance four centimeters. And then you join the line. Make sure it protrudes a bit so that when you come to stitch it will be in line with the less of the line. From there we have our front. Now we can go with pattern draft or we come up with the back of our shot. And because we had gone up to number 12, we will pick our green, our green pen and we do our back with the green pen from point number 13. And point for number 13 will be 4 to 13 which will be the measurement of 1 to 4 and then you divide by 4. And if you can remember, the measurement of 1 to 4 was, uh, was 9.8 and when you measure a quarter of that, it will be 2.5 sorry, and then you square up.
Make sure the lines are straight. Here we have number 13. At the seat line, we have number 14. And we name the same line at waist line number 15. Number 16 will be the midway between 13 to 15. Which we can still measure. It, will be, it was 25 because it is the border lines. You divide by 2, it will be, uh, be 12.5. You come and measure 12.5 from point 13 and you get your 16 there. Point number 17, we'll go back to 15 where it is, and then we measure two centimeters. And the two centimeters, you square up with the L square just one centimeter. Just one centimeter, there we go. And we name it this one. This is point 17, and here it's point 18. From 18, let's go back to number 8. So that we finish up with the crotch line. So 8 to 19 on this line, it will be the measurement of four to eight have the measurement of four to eight. And the half measurement of four to eight is seven centimeters, half of that is three and a half. Come and measure three and a half. And you mark your number 19. 20 will be squared down 0 0.5 centimeters from 19. You come and square out and you make that one. You are point 20. Point 20, I would like us to go to 18, so that we draw our back waistline. And our back waistline will be the waist measurement, and then you plus 4.5. Our waist measurement is 82, you divide by 4, which will be 20.5, and then you add 4.5, it will be 26. So from 18, along the waistline, you come and measure from number 18. Remember, it has been laced up with one centimeter. It will be 26. And that will be our point 21. This line here, we call it the side seam. And we are to draw the side seam for the back. And then we have to go back to number 14 so that we get along a point along the seat line. We get our number 20, 22. And our number 22 will be the seat measurement. You divide by 4 plus three centimeter, which will be 25. You add three centimeter, it will be 28 from 14, 28 there. And there we have our number 20, 23. We need to 
draw a line from 18 to 20. A straight line to 20. That is our measurement for the back waist. But we are going to add a dart at the back. Most of the, uh, most of the shorts or trousers have a dart there for shaping. And it will be between 18 to 21. And 18 to 21, which is 26, you divide by 2, it will be 13. You come and mark at the center number 24 where our dart will be. And then you square out around 10 centimeters. Around 10 centimeters. Make sure you mark. You mark 10 centimeters. And then on either side, you put a dart. 1.25, 1.25. Draw the other line for the dart. And there we have our dart for the back. We are supposed to go back to our bottom width at the hemline along this line so that we can mark our back the in seam of our short and the side seam along the hemline and there we'll come at the hemline from 11 you go outward two centimeters this is because most of the time the shot at the, the back shot is normally big or large than the front and then now we are to use our hip curve to curve along the side seam of the back and then make sure you join it up to the hemline and then you